From a global level, like you said, it it is turning on your TV. We recommend you don't. Uh, if it is on news, we, we recommend you don't. We don't say bury your head in the sand, but you all pretty much know what's happening. In the social media, Christy has made it a point to anybody that's in freak-out mode on her feeds she, and, and acting in a way that is like she says, move to the dark side, she unfriends them. It, it, you get to choose who's on your feed. You get to choose where you put your focus and attention. And if you're saying everybody is being negative, that is not true. There are people like Christy that every morning when she's walking her dog, she allows the inspiration to come through her, and she gives a daily message on her Facebook fan page. And there are other people around the world that are leaders and, and coaches that are spreading energy and light and information that is good. The news typically focuses on what's bad and wrong. And that is not just something that's happening today. That is always. And so we recommend you all know what's happening in the world to not focus on the news and to be mindful that when something does come across your face or around your computer or something like that, that you then focus on what it is you do want and how you do want to feel and what you want your outcome to be. We understand that it is like, Hmm. Christy would describe it like getting tasered a little bit as you're moving around your day and then you hear something or see something and it jolts you. But then it's in that jolting moment that's important to become energy master and understand that you have an ability to release that energy, and our energy like we were just speaking about, and go to a higher source. Allow your higher source to fuel you, to fill you up with a higher energy. And this is recommendation we do on a macro level. If inside your own home, you're living with someone who is very negative, and of course this situation, if it feels like mm, it's being squeezed even more and amplified even more, and if there's fear inside just on a normal, regular, day-to-day basis and full of lack, and this person is not willing to do their inner work or they're not willing to do what they have no awareness that they're doing it or if they feel victim to the fact that they cannot change it, it is very difficult. But we will tell you, you can never be responsible for anybody else's consciousness ever. You can never try to change your husband's thoughts. You can never try to change your kids' feelings. You can never put words in your children's mouth or your husband or your wife's mouth. They are, or your in-laws or whom, outlaws or whomever it is. You, you are responsible for you and you alone. And you are responsible for your own energy connection. And as you are focused on what he's doing wrong or on how he's negative or anything like that, what you'll put your focus on will expand. And so as he maybe now, for example, in this one situation, for example, take more time with yourself in your home. Take more time hooking up with your divine self and flowing the energy and feeling how you want to. And we will say this, either one or two things will happen during this time as you practice radical self-care and take walks in your garden and, or go in your backyard or do the things that you can do for yourself, list, listening to music that uplifts you or playing with your dogs or cats or anything else, that taking a hot bath or doing your nails or doing whatever makes you feel better. As you are paying, reading nice books, watching videos that are uplifting on YouTube, things like of this nature, as you are hooking up with positivity and you are not allowing, is the conversation we had earlier, not allowing yourself to receive in to your own physical body the negativity but choosing to supersede it and to allow source to bring forth energy into you and you can do this right now all of you by just 
asking your source right here, right now to bring energy down through the top of your head and fill you with a positive light, to be filled with love, to be filled with compassion, to be filled with energy of abundance or whatever it is that you want. As as he's blah, blah, blahing and being negative, while that's happening, you could be having a conversation with your divine source and be receiving an energy from your source and not from your husband. It is always you and your own free will. You are never a victim. And by focusing on the negative one in your home, you are becoming a victim. As the victim is um, moaning and complaining about life situations, you don't have to be victim to that. You can hook up with a higher source. And one of two things will happen. Either they will shift their own energy or you will be so positive they won't be able to stand it anymore and they will leave. Thank you for watching. Check out the related videos here and please subscribe to my channel for more. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and comment below what you think.